we're going to try and drop some liners in. I've got one in. They're not all that tight a fit, which is a good thing. Well, look at that. That's nearly too loose, but we've lock tighted them all in. So that's okay, they won't. Okay, we've washed the block. Took me bloody ages. <laughs> Took a fair while, it was very dirty. Um, we fitted the liners, so we have them in the other side there. The, um, I probably would have liked to see the liners a little bit tighter than they are, but I was just reading the thing, I was doing a bit of research on it, and they said the new linings are liners are more of a slip fit than the old press fit ones. So anyway, they're not moving. They're all locked tighted in and everything. Um, I would like to see them tighter, like I say, but they're all 680 locked tighted in all the way down. So um, there's no chance of them moving or anything like that. And we have a slight protrusion on the top here. So you can feel that. You can feel that the liners are just proud of the block. Now, what happens sometimes, people deck the block here, they machine the top off it, and when you put the new liners in, the liners stick up too high. Um, I can't remember the exact measurement. I will look it up, probably. But, um, look, that's okay. I've gone across here with a wire brush, and I've, I've deburred, and I've used a little um, buffing tool around the water jackets and all that, so... Even though it looks a little stained, it's it's nice and flat. Feels good. Right, I have the liners in, and I I only have one little bit of a clip where I push the liner in, and my camera's playing up, the zoom's playing up. So anyway, there's, it, they went in a bit too easy, and I thought, well, in the past, you don't know, you know, when you get the old liners out. People in the past, these are a press fit liner, and you put ice in them, you heated the block up, and they're actually a bit of a struggle to get in at times. Um, <coughs> I mean, I've had people break them, getting them in, and um, they are quite a bit of an effort. So um, you don't know what's been done to a block before you come along. So I've got these new liners here, and dry, I couldn't get them in, but with a little bit of oil or Loctite on them, I could actually press it in with my hand, which in my opinion, is a little bit too loose. So, um, well, it's looser than I've done in the past. And so anyway, I've, I've got onto the engine people and we've had a chat. And they said that the, um, the aftermarket liners nowadays, even through Perkins, they're not press fit anymore. They're actually doing a, a slip fit. Um, and they're... Um, a bit of paper they gave me. The problem with these engines can occur if care is not exercised when fitting replacement liners. Many years ago the tolerance of replacement liners was changed to provide a slip fit rather than an interference fit in the cylinder block. Although this is termed slip fit, liners are ground to an extremely fine tolerance to, refer, um, sorry, to provide a rather tighter slip fit. Well, I didn't feel mine were tight. And so I followed up on that. And um, look, we're OK. Um, someone at some stage has honed this block um, before they put the other liners in. And um, I felt it was too loose, my liners. So um, we had a yarn about it. And what I've agreed to do is um, I've actually 680 Loctited the liners the full length. So they've been Loctited from one end to the other, full length, and that takes up oh, nine there. So look, it, it takes up a fair bit anyway, and, and I've often put Loctite on them because if this, if this little groove, the, the little recess where the liner sits on the top there is slightly up or slightly down, well, the liners can break around the top ring there, or around the flange, and what they're known to do is they just slam the liner down into the sump. And these flange liners aren't so bad. Some of the early Perkins stuff, they didn't have a flange liner. It was just a press fit liner. Now with these flange liners, they've gone to a slip fit. But I believe my block's been honed at some stage and it's a bit looser than, I've, than I would have really liked. But um, 
with a full complement of 680 Loctite all the way, um, it'll be fine. Yeah, and even if something cracked or broke up here, there's no chance of the bottom of my liner actually going down into the sump. So, but what I, what we're over here to show you is liner protrusion. And I've just been through the book, the Perkins, the genuine Massey Ferguson Perkins book, and um, I couldn't actually find a, an exact figure for this. Um, it is up there, I know, and look, it feels great to me, but I just thought um, I would show how we measure it. And I've got this little gauge I made, and this was just an inch by inch block of aluminium bar, aluminium if you're in America, bar. And I cut a piece out, drilled an eight millimetre hole in, put a slot in it, and that allows me to put a digital dial gauge in so that you can read what I'm doing. So the idea is, when you get it over to the side here, just zero it so you're on the side, and then you bring it forward up onto the liner. And so I've got two thou liner protrusion there. That's great, really. Then I can come around here and do the same. I don't know if you can read it here. And come along the back here. No, that's just on two. This fella here, make sure he's on zero, it's on half. On zero and again. They're touchy, these digital meters. 2.5 there. So we're all, where are we here? We're starting on two, I must have moved it again. Whoop, too far then. That's three, three and a, yeah, we're starting at half of there, so that's three. So anyway, that's how we do that bit. <coughs> that's three. And the idea is to have these reasonably level all the way. Zero this one. I know you can't read that. That's two again. So we're fairly even, we're well within, oh well we're within half a thou over the whole lot and uh, that's important so the fire ring on the head gasket sits down and you haven't got a high liner, um, you know taking all the load and the one next door is doing nothing so it burns the head gasket through. So a two thou protrusion, that's great, if you had a wet sleeve liner you'd be looking for that same thing, the head will go down and clamp and when I push these liners in I put a steel plate there and give them a bit of a bump just to make sure they were right home. So we're happy with that.